What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So I have a very funny story to share with you guys. Um, this was something that was caught on one of our Reolink security cameras. I actually caught on a couple of our Reolink cameras, but the best footage is on the Reolink PT Go Ultra. And uh, this, this is pretty funny. So the other day, um, just a couple days ago, we, we took the uh, Kubota M59 down to our property down the road at the lake uh, we had some cleanup and stuff to do get ready for mowing season all that type of stuff well i had an animal that uh decided it wanted to ride on the tractor and uh once i got down the road got down the road to our neighbor's house and i get a phone call once i passed their house and get down on the highway they said hey you have a hitchhiker that just jumped off your trailer or tractor as you drove by and I'm thinking what in the world but sure enough I went back and uh, reviewed the footage and I actually caught it on a real link camera so I'm gonna let you guys watch this footage right here you see if you can tell what animal is on the back of the trailer and that jumps off or you don't see it jump off, but you see it riding down the road behind my blue Dodge pickup. And then uh, when I come back on here, I'll tell you guys exactly what it was. For those of you that don't see it, I know most of you have a really good eye and you're going to catch it. But watch this right here. So there you have it. So if you saw the chicken riding on the back of the tractor, it was actually on the tractor, and you could see me going down our driveway, going down, and it rode for about a quarter of a mile, and then it finally jumped off. And uh, for those of you wondering, that was caught on one of our real link cameras. Um, that was actually a cell camera, so it doesn't have Wi-Fi. It uses a cell SIM card. We are very pleased with all our real link cameras. So if you guys are interested in the real link cameras, um, Wi-Fi or cell ones just like the one I just showed in the video check out the link in the description below um, they're awesome cameras no matter if you got internet or you just live out in the country like we do out in the woods or down at the lake property we're going to have electric the real link cameras work great so Smeagol it wasn't you I think a lot of people guessed that it was gonna be you that was riding on the trailer and jumped off but you're you're not like that are you so he he's actually kind of scared of vehicles he uh when he was just a kitten he actually learned his lesson he was in um he was small and uh i got in my uh my toyota tacoma back then and i started it up and uh backed up out of the driveway and then went forward and i heard this awful noise and i seen hair flying it was mr smeagol i think he used one of his lives then but uh, anyways, he, he, he don't get around the vehicles when they're running at all. Uh, he, I don't think he ever gets in the hood anymore. But anyways, yeah, we took the tractor down to the lake property the other day, did some cleanup. We didn't film none. It was super windy. I have some brush I need to burn down there, a big old brush pile that I need to burn. But uh, it's just so windy right now that I uh, can't really get it done. That's why I had the, the tractor still on the trailer because I planned on going the day after we went down there to do the cleanup. To go back and burn but it was just so windy and it's pretty windy now but nothing like it was so anyways um we are fixing to go out here and do some feeding but we're gonna take a pro with us we're gonna take a professional dog trainer this time rachel she's she's uh she's the one that's been really working with russell and uh every time she comes out here with the leash she knows what she's doing it seems like he uh he actually listens to her and does what she is telling him to do it's been working out pretty good i always make myself look like a fool when i go out there with the leash and i'm trying to film and all that stuff i try it and try it and uh, it just don't work out great for me but anyway she she knows what she's doing with russell um i think it works most of the time we're filming this time so who knows it might not work but we're gonna go film anyways i got a truckload of uh, dog food and some layer pellets that we're gonna fill up the emu feeder with here in a little bit trying to get yone egg to lay us some emu eggs she still hasn't laid any yet and i don't know why 
but the only thing I can think of is she's not getting enough um, protein and some of the nutrients she needs for the egg production so we're gonna push some layer pellets to her and uh, see if that might help so anyways I'm gonna go get Rachel real quick grab some food and then uh, we'll go see what Corin Leesky's up to and the big man Mojo we'll see if Rachel can uh, get Russell to do his training in front of the camera I'm you guys know I'm not very good at it but she she's been working with him a lot more so we'll see if it works okay I got the canine trainer behind me here she's got the leash and uh, we're gonna go work with Russell but I think we're gonna do it she the professional says we need to go ahead and feed <laughs> Russell the goats uh, Cord and Leesky then we'll go feed um, Mojo and uh, all the loud noise animals over there and then we'll come back and work with Russell she said what well, I'll let you you say it you say it better I am NOT a professional by the way she's a professional but that's her title you are messing up some of my training <laughs> uh, she, she watched the video the last video I posted she says you're butchering my training I said I know next video you're coming with me and you're gonna prove me wrong because I look like a fool on there trying to hold the camera and you train Russell no you don't the issue when you come out and do it is you're doing chores when I come out and do it during the day that's my one and only goal is to have a training session with him right. there's just way at feeding time it's just way too many distractions and since he's a puppy he's easily distracted and <laughs> everybody else is going crazy so it's easier to get all them right. all fed so everybody's settled down they're calmed down and he can focus and uh, one thing we just changed, we were feed, feeding the dogs about twice a day. Uh, Russell twice a day for sure, and sometimes Cor and Leesky twice a day. And that's not working out good. Um, some of you guys noticed that, and you guys left comments saying, I think you should only feed your dogs once a day because they don't seem like they're hungry in the evenings. And that is very true. Since we started feeding them all once a day, even Russell, it's only been a couple days, but now they've all eat, they've all ate every time we went to feed them. And uh, Russell, he's got a big appetite just like his mom and dad. He eats probably just as much as they do, just about. He does, but yeah, it had, it had gotten to the point where a lot of food was being wasted. Yeah. And so. dog food, we feed good dog food and it does get expensive and we want all of our animals to have proper nutrition. <laughs> So we do our best to provide that, but if they're wasting food twice yeah. a day, you just might as well burn your money because you're wasting. You it do have sure. to make adjustments. So and, and every every farm, every household, every every situation is going to be different. This yeah. is what works for us. Right. Skeeter, get them. Tell them. No. Break it up. No arguing on the farm. Good boy. <laughs> See, that's that's where Skeeter comes in. He's a he's a good sheriff, aren't you? Come here. Good boy. Hey, come, here. come here. Give him a treat. Ah. Another those. for the, for Russell and the big There's dog. There's your Russell. Good boy, Skeeter. He said, "I ain't gonna hurt them roosters. I just gonna tell them no arguing." <laughs> good boy, Skeeter Bug. All right. So, real quick, I got. I'm gonna show you guys for what we grab the food. I've got a whole bed full of feed. I just talked about. So we got the diamond puppy food, got the layer pellets, and then we got some uh, of that new food. Um, this stuff is actually made in uh, Miami, Oklahoma. And we've been buying it, trying to mix up the feed for the big dogs, and they really seem to like it. And right now, our girls, the laying hens, are on, uh, what do you call it? They're on like overtime. These At girls. Production. <laughs> let me show you. Let me go in here and show you. Which we're very excited. Yes, I am. It's a true blessing for sure. Because you guys know we went through a drought there for a little bit. But guys, we've been finding nests and stuff hey. everywhere. Oh. <laughs> you just walked right over yeah, this. Yeah, that could have been a rattlesnake. Oh, poor little I didn't guy. Step on it, did I? No. Oh, don't let Skeeter. Don't let Smeagol get it. He'll eat it. It's a little skink. Go hide. Yeah, it's a little skink. Skeet All right, out. so we found a couple nests um, out of the nest box. This was around the tractors. And then, let me open up the refrigerator. Look at this, guys. And we have been freeze drying eggs like no other. We've been freeze drying eggs. We've been, um, We've been storing freeze dried eggs in our house. We, every time we get about 60 eggs, we just freeze dry them and then we put them in mason jars for long-term storage with our Harvest Right freezer. That's been working out great. So the eggs are a true blessing. What our dogs don't eat, what we don't eat in the house, we freeze dry for a later date. And for some reason, all our chickens disappear overnight. Our dogs will still have 
probably months worth of uh, freeze dried eggs that we can use and uh, it's it's worked out really good so anyways we got a lot of eggs we got food oh here comes the big man he's a dude dad did you say eggs uh yeah oh I can use a few of them eggs let me see what you got in there dad all right we'll grab your food let us go feed little Russell let's go feed little Russell and we'll come back and feed you and then we'll go work with Russell okay okay you got to meet Russell at least the other day didn't you yeah, he's, he's going to be an okay dog, I think. He's uh, got a lot of training to do, but I think he's going to work out just great. He'll teach him how to nap real good. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he will. <laughs> the chickens can smell that chicken feed up here on my truck. They're trying to, you better not jump on my new truck, girls. Here, I'll put some on the ground for you. Don't even think about it. There, you gotta stay busy with that. All right, so I got the dump truck out. Um, like I said, we went down and cleaned up a bunch of stuff at the lake. Had to dump a whole bunch of stuff, and in the minutes admits of doing that, um, we had it piled up so much with stuff against this backboard, I actually couldn't get it off. So I went ahead and tried to dump everything in it, and all these boards just broke. So I and you broke it. I did. Not me. I've got to redo all that, which it's. I've had it on there for several years, but anyways, that's just another project we got to work on. Plus, one of the tail lights. Look at that. I had to order new uh, lights for it. So, just something else. Let's Always go, something. Let's go. Russell! He said, Quit talking. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, goodness. He says, He says, Feed me. Feed me. Goodness. Hey, please give me hand. You want your food? Come here. Come on, Lisky, man. Oh, they're all hungry, aren't you? Look, Russell knows the routine. He already ran over there with Rachel. You ready to eat, Miss Cora? Look at this. Mama Mama got her favorite color to eggs. Look at these. You guys see that? One's got a little yolk on it from a busted egg, but the rest of them are like mint blue. Come on, let's eat before them goats come. Come on. Come on. There's an egg thief right there. Here, eat that egg. Here, Cora. You're such a patient girl. You're such a patient girl. Come here, ladies. There you go. Lacey, come on. Go eat, buddy. Go eat, go eat, go eat. Got a lot of food thieves around here. So, so like I said, since they started feeding them once a day, you can kind of see they got their appetite back. Alright, go time. Alright. Get them all fed. We'll go take a look at Mr. Russell. Then we'll go feed Mojo and then we'll come back and let him do his training. Excuse me, goat. Don't nope, walk out. What do you think, boy? I got you new food today. It's called country stew or something like that. It's canned food. And we mix it in with his puppy food. He gets a raw egg. You guys know that. And he loves the eggs. That might be his favorite. You like the egg better or the canned food better? Canned food. You do? No, he does. Oh. Why would I like it better? Which one tastes better? I don't know. Probably tastes about like Spam. Probably. No, I actually <laughs> like Spam. Yeah, but Mr. Russell, he even eats the shell sometimes, so we always try to give it to him. Where's Mr. Olaf? I don't know where they're at. Oh, they're... I have a pocket full of treats and they're nowhere. Oh, there's, a, there's the three amigos. Let me see if I can zoom in on they? them. Oh, they're way down there. There they are. Etta, Coco, and Olaf, they're, they're pretty good buddies now. It's the weirdest thing. Um, you guys know the story. I've told it a couple times. We put Mr. Olaf in another doe in here with the donkeys because they kept jumping out of the front fence pen. Put him in here, the girl left Olaf and went back to the pen, jumped back in. Olaf can't jump out of this pen, but he's made good buddies with the donkeys at least. 
So they graze together and do all that. So it's been working out pretty good. Usually for our uh, Russell's afternoon good training, I always come in here and give them their treats and they're usually right here waiting, but they gave up on me today. I'm yep. out here a little well, later. They got they got this green grass coming in now, and um, they that's their favorite, I think. Well, I don't know. They like. All this. right, he said, "Mom, I, I want to do the SIT." They like their peppermint. He treats. says, "Let me do a trick on camera real quick." You eat your food. He said, "I'd like to do a trick real quick, and then we'll come back and do the leash training." He said, "Okay, I'll eat." He listen. He listens pretty good. He's a good dog. He's not over energetic. Um, Leesky is really energetic. He's always been energetic since he's a puppy. Cora is more laid back. She's never really jumped. I don't think she's ever jumped up on us. No. So the other day when you said that you didn't know if I oh, had... Well, here you go, Mama. Or not Mama. I keep Russell. calling you Mama. Sit. Sit. Stay. Stay. Good boy. Wow. Russell, guess what, buddy? You are a smart dog. He's filthy. Yeah, you can shake hands like Mojo, too. What have you been in? You're filthy. He you might have been filthy. in the pond. Okay, Dang. come finish eating your right, goodies. Come on. Let's eat so we can go let you come out. On. Come eat. And we'll come back and do some leash training. But he's growing good. Um, I got to get him back to the vet here pretty quick to get um, his third round of shots. I think it's like a five-way or something like that. But it's important we get that, and then he'll be set for a while, I believe. Um, you guys know we treat him with uh, tick and flea prevention, Brevecto. It's a one-month chew tablet, and it's been working great for him. He ain't got no, he ain't got no pest on him, not even mice or flies or nothing, right, buddy? Are you done eating? Hmm? You're all wet. You but you've been in the stock tank or the pond? I don't know. I haven't seen him in the pond yet. Maybe but, some mud. Yeah, you look like your mama. Yeah, you look like your mama, you pretty boy. He's calmer. He's like a lot Cora. calmer. Yeah, he is. So what I was saying is, when you said you didn't know how much training Cora that I had done with Cora, well, I completely failed at training with Cora. I trained Leesky, but by the time Cora came along, Leesky had an issue with hogging all the attention and getting in between me and Cora and. I had just honestly gave up on our training at that point with Cora because Leesky was such a handful. So I, I did, I failed at that, but I've made it a goal. I am not going to fail <laughs> with Russell's training. No. And one thing that Rachel and I have both noticed, and even you guys, I've, I've read some comments from some of you viewers, you guys have noticed that Cora and Leesky, since they've had the puppies, their attitudes both have changed. Cora has kind of, kind of come out of her shell where she's not so shy. Um, she wants more attention from us. And Leesky, he's actually kind of went the other way where he's not so needy. He still does get in your face a little. You know, he'll stand in front of you sometimes. He used to do it all the time. If you come out here, he didn't want you anywhere near Cora. Now he still does it a little bit, but not quite as bad. So he's actually come a long way. And it seems to happen just right after Cora had the puppies. It's the weirdest deal. You done eating? No? I think he's pretty pretty well finished. I hear sirens going by. Yeah, I hear sirens. I'm going to put the leash right here. Yeah. Don't let me forget. All right, that'll work. I'm going to put it in the bucket, actually. All right, I think he's done, so. You All done? right, we'll go, feed Mo. we'll go feed Uncle Mo, and we'll come back and we'll do some leash training, okay, buddy? He said, sounds good. Follow me, sir. He says, follow me, sir. <laughs> Those sirens driving you nuts, huh? They're driving you nuts, boy. Russell said, yeah, they, yeah, they is. Even I, Russell is barking. That loud pitch uh, noise hurts their ears. Oh, what's going on? There's a fire or what? So there's been tons of them go by. All right, let's go feed most. so we can go do our leash training. Okay. Okay, got the little red wagon loaded down again. <laughs> I don't know where Mr. Mojo went. Where'd Mojo go? Oh, he's in my own. Where? <laughs> is he acting, is he pouting because we didn't feed him first? No. Just, he got hot. <laughs> yeah, he does get hot out here in the sun. It's 80 some degrees today. It's super nice. Mojo! 
little wagon don't pull as good as the big one. I hear a goat yelling in the barn. It must be stuck. Yep. Come on, Mo. Got you some eggs, buddy. <laughs> All right, we're coming. <laughs> yep, somebody's stuck in the barn. I can hear him crying. <laughs> All right. What? The cat and then the They were both running at the same time. I ain't got time to look at no chicken or cats. I'm ready for my eggs. Hey now, yo yo. Hey, yo, come on, I was talking about you, girl. I got you off the seat. All right, you got the gate? Okay. Alright. What are you doing circles for your little trick goat? Did y'all just see that goat doing 360? Excuse me. Here, Walt. Here, geese. Here you go. Yell at me all you want. I don't mind. You left me, I gotta get the wagon. We're gonna rescue that goat. All right. These little wagons come in handy. Rachel's gonna rescue the goat. Let's see which one it is. Let's see how many goats run out. Sounds like one. But it heard us feed, it says help! Help! Help, oh, here it's Shadow! And Bambi! It was Shadow and Bambi! Goofy girls! At least you didn't miss out on dinner. Alright, well, Mama gave you two eggs this time, didn't she? The girls have been working overtime, so we got enough to spare, so you should thank them, okay? Next time you hear them in distress, make sure you save them, okay? All right. Oh, we gotta get Betty some food. That's not Betty. I'm gonna go fill the emu feeder up before everybody's done eating their goat food and their other food. I don't know where Rachel went. I guess she's getting ahead of me and getting the eggs already. You're going out of order. <clears throat> We don't have any particular order in doing anything except we never have an egg basket with this one. It's time to collect eggs. And if you get the eggs first, it makes doing all the other chores quite hard. Oh, just popped the wheelie there. I gotta watch out for a wasp under this too. Okay. How are you gonna help me load this, this feed with the shirt full of eggs? The girl's leg crazy again. Looks like you got over a dozen eggs in your shirt. I didn't count them. There's a lot. Where's the bucket? I don't have a bucket. It's over there. That's what I just said. You're going out of order. Well, you get the eggs last. Let's go into the barn. I know. Maybe these little layer pellets will entice your egg to lay some egg. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe she just don't like her boyfriend. Mm. <laughs> I guess that happens. <laughs> we got much of a choice around here. Exactly. Maybe she wants a toy. There's a hundred more pounds of layer pellets. Maybe that'll do the trick. That's so funny. Look who is on Betty's back. I can't see anything. <laughs> what a 
Gibbs is taking a ride. What in the world? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, it jumped off. Yep, that little chick was riding on Betty's back. <laughs> oh, so they're all still God. doing good. If you guys can see them through the wire, they're growing fast. They got straw in their food. I yeah, get I'll get in there and clean it out. The wasps are starting to build the nest too. I gotta get those out of there. All right, feeding's done. Watering's done. Now it's time to do some training. You ready to train, Russell? Uh, little Russ? I gotta go get his collar. Okay, he'll get his collar. Let me in, Mr. Whiskey, Mrs. Cora. Let me in, Mr. He said, are you gonna feed us, Dad? I already fed you, Mr. I already fed you. Let me in. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, hey guys. Hey, everybody. All right, Rachel wants to go get your collar. Oh, your leash. She wants to go get the leash. You all sure are happy. Did you get your bellies full, huh? Everybody's smiling. Everybody's smiling tonight. Look at them. Oh yeah, everybody's in a good mood. It feels good outside. It's nice and warm. Russ is getting hit in the face with Daddy's giant tail. Look, at, look how big this tail is. Look at this. Yeah, your daddy has a giant tail. Remember when you used to bite it? Oh, you just sat on your boy. He's always gonna get out of the way. Yeah, he's a good man. Good mama. Good. Mama, get, or Rachel wants to get your leash. I gotta quit calling Rachel your mom. Your mom is Cora. Your mom is Cora. Yeah, her sweet girl. See guys, she's she's turned a new leaf after she had puppies. It's so crazy. Oh no. All right, oh, who wants no. the leash? Oh. Lisa, Lisa said, I'll do it for one of them biscuits, lady. Lisa, come. Okay, hold on. All right, let's see this train. Okay. I'm gonna be quiet. Shh. I was gonna say, just be quiet. Sit, sit, stay. Good boys. Both of them did it. Good boys. How about Miss Cora? She said, I'm staying. She, she said, I'm staying. She's not interested in the treats. Who's not? Cora. No, she's not. She doesn't care for them. Not very much. Good boy. Good so boy. I noticed some people are saying, let him drag the collar around. I've already done bit. that. Right. That helped. That you, helped. You did that? already and you said it helped it did help okay he knows where i keep the tree yep he's smart he's a very smart puppy please you stay with me and russell I'll you. come sit good boy we're just working on come and sit and then guiding him with the collar what else do we want to teach him huh what else do you want to teach him well we're going to start with that He's not, a, he's not a trick dog. He ain't going to learn to do all We're going to start with that and then see then what. I'd like to train Leave It. Well, but he's like pretty obedient. Yeah, Come Leave on. It would be nice. Come. Good boy. So it's like night and day difference from when you guys see me doing it and then Rachel doing it. Come. Come here, Lise. What is it? Come. Come here, Come Lise. So when he resists, I take a break and I, I let loose the tension for a second. Russell, come. Sit. Sit. Good boy. That's crazy. He's he's 10 weeks old and he's doing that. Come. Russell, come. Actually, I think he's 11 weeks, isn't he? Uh, I yeah, he's, he's 11 weeks now. You might need a drink. You need a drink Hi, baby. Girl? What you doing? She said, thank you for teaching my, my baby boy obedience. Yeah, he's a good girl. See, watch. She's not big on treats. See? She's like, shh, get that out of my face, lady. She likes belly rubs. She does. That's she likes she love more than treats. Hey Russ, you're doing so good. How come you don't do this with me when I'm out here by myself and filming? Because you huh? are too distracted. I guess so. Too yeah. much going good on, boy. and that's okay. That's okay. That's what that's what Rachel's for. You're a good girl. So, anyways, there you go. That's boy. dog training one on one with these livestock guardian dogs. And I am not 
I am very, very amateur. <laughs> You're professional. No, I'm not. You look pretty good to me. Look at that. He don't even jump on you. He just... Good boy. Very good. At, he wants to jump, yep. but he doesn't jump. Stay. Come. Whoop. Sit. Good boy. Wow, that's, that's amazing. All right. So there you go. You got your professional dog trainer. You got your professional livestock guardian dog in training. And then you got Sheriff Skeeter over there saying, I can do all that stuff. But uh, one thing we've been doing is letting Russell out in the yard every once in a while. We don't do it every day. You guys seen the last video where he met Mr. Mojo. That's still something we're gonna work on too. Um, we're trying to introduce Russell to chickens and roosters as you guys see in the videos. Anytime we feed the dogs or anything, the chickens are right there. So Russell's always right there with them. When he goes out in the yard, he goes up to them and smells them. He hasn't started chasing them yet. So that is a very good thing. Once he starts that, it's a it's a hard thing to break once they actually uh, take after a chicken and you know do bad stuff. He with was them, out so. in the yard with them and just slowly followed them, never lunged after them or chased them, and I was really really impressed of how so, well he did. So yep, everything's going good, and thanks to Rachel, the professional dog dog trainer, for uh, getting him. That's training. Her, you that's Cora's warning to yeah. Leesky because he likes to get in personal space. She was growling at Leesky because he'll get up right in her face and she's like, get out of my face, Leesky. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I said before, I wanted to share the video with you of the crazy chicken Reba riding the tractor down the road. And there you guys seen it firsthand on the real link security camera. So make sure you check out the link in the description below. Um, Got a discount code. I will throw that down in the description box as well. If you guys want to order your very own real ink cameras, you can save a little money. So, you got anything to say? Uh, let's end it on the boys doing their sitting. All right, let's see if we can uh, prove right or wrong. Russell, come here. Russell, come. Russell, come. Leesky. Leesky. Come. He's, he's tired. Okay. He got his belly full. Okay. Good boy. One more. Russell, come. Come, sit, good boy, good boy. Oh, now he's gonna come. He said, okay, I'll do it, mom. Sit. He said, I wanted to make the grand finale. <laughs> <laughs> he got a big boy. Chicken. There you guys go. So guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, watch a little Russell grow up and continue his livestock guardian dog training. When we're not out here or Rachel, the professional is not out here training him, his mom and dad is training him to be a true hey. livestock guardian dog. Hey. With Quit the predators and everything else. You're so setting me up for Leave a comment down below if you are if you think Rachel's doing a good job with the, the training with Mr. Russell. So we love you guys. We'll see you on the next video. See you guys. Good boy. Yeah.